Hello, my name is Danny Moore with CD Aviation Services out of Joplin, Missouri. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do a plenum drain inspection on a TPE 331 engine. The engine we're using is an inlet down engine that is obviously mounted in a stand. Um, makes very ease of access to the plenum drains. Um, on a inlet up or inlet down engine, you're gonna find your plenum drains located towards the bottom of the plenum, screwed into the plenum on the aircraft. During installation on the aircraft, it's very typical to have a drain line that comes to the plenum drain to go to an overboard on your aircraft. To complete the periodic inspections of a plenum drain, you have two different styles. One is a 400 hour periodic inspection, and that inspection is completed by leaving the plenum drains installed, removing the drain lines from the aircraft, and use shop air to blow into the plenum drain. This air should pass through because the plenum drain should be open while the engine's not running. After you complete that part of the inspection, you need to pull the aircraft out, start the engine and operate it, and check to make sure there's no air pressure leaking while the aircraft engine's operating. And that concludes your inspection of a 400 hour periodic inspection. The second one is a little bit more difficult. Um, we still need to remove the drain lines, and this is an 800 hour periodic inspection requirement. And it requires you to remove the plenum using caution. These can be tight, and we wanna make sure that we do not strip the plenum. Remove the plenum drain valve from the plenum, and you're gonna take it to a shop air source and test the opening and closing pressure of the plenum drain valve. To complete the 800 hour periodic inspection, you'll need to construct a variable source of shop air along with a pressure gauge. Then you'll connect the inside of the plenum drain valve to the air source. Once you have that connected, you're going to apply air pressure to the plenum drain valve from two to five PSI, the plenum drain valve should close. Once it is closed, you need to verify that there's no air leaking from the plenum drain valve. After that, you will remove the shop air and verify that it opens back up freely. After completion of the inspection, you're going to want to reinstall your plenum drain valves. The first step is to get a new gasket to install on the plenum drain. Then you will need anti-seize lubricant, C5 typically is what's called out in most maintenance manuals. You will apply the C5 onto the threads of the plenum drain valve. Install the plenum drain valve with the arrow pointing out and torque the plenum drain valve. The torque value on this is typically 60 to 65 inch pounds, and it's very important that we do not over torque these as we can do damage to the plenum. As always, you want to refer to your applicable maintenance manual and your requirements on your specific engine model when you're completing any inspections. Thank you. Have a good day.